You know what's just been propped up on my Netflix feed? The last day to watch iZombie is made the second. I believe I'm still going to be recording season five uh, up until that point. So um, there's going to be a bunch of people saying you should have watched iZombie before watching The Last of Us. <laughs> but to be fair, I have no regrets uh, because otherwise... One, I probably would have been spoiled in regards to The Last of Us. And uh, two, it was a dope show. It was probably one of the best things I've seen this year. Uh, and it's only April, so... But still, it was just a fantastic show. Anyways, I'm digressing. Hello, everyone. It is Liam Carrison here. I'll find a way. Don't worry. Uh, but yes, this is episode number four of season five for I zombie which has been pretty interesting with these uh three episodes uh, especially in regards to uh, i guess the case of the week as well because uh with episode two we found out uh with that two-parter that uh, the situation was all part of a hoax and the last episode there was a bit of ambiguity uh, even though uh there seemed to be a bit of a direction we were heading in re in regards to solving the murder uh the person that they quizzed at the very end of course who um, had a thing with one of the uh, with um, the guy that got murdered. Um, yeah, um, he um, he died. Um, so and it and like I said, for me, it didn't look like he poisoned him. It might have, it might have been the case, but it was just the way his uh, he reacted. So yeah, but um, it's been pretty pretty interesting stuff. Of course, we had the revelation that Michelle was also pregnant, throwing a bit of a complication. Of course, because obviously Clive and Michelle had that little thing going on last season, and um, with the fact that Dale is pregnant and Michelle is pregnant, uh, there is the possibility that Clive is going to be a father times two. So yeah, I, like I said, I don't think that's going to happen whatsoever. But um, yeah, it will be very, very interesting to see the events of that unfold. So yeah, but um, looking forward to getting into this episode of iZombie. So with that said, let's get into episode number four, season five for iZombie. Let's go. Oh God, is this Elon Musk? Get him out of here. <laughs> oh, I didn't Ways to me. ruin Twitter. I've got to say. Oh no. I expect. This was his list of who he intended to invite inside. Peyton Charles, why is she on it? Oof. I don't know. Important but, people. I'm sure oh. Mr. Piercy had his reasons. This is the hundred all over again. <laughs> the apocalypse, a bunker with all selected individuals. So you know I have an alibi. Microwaves! Okay, I'm gonna stop you right here. Why? Oh so, no, the amount of. We want uh, to show that illustrates how, despite all the misunderstanding. Humans and zombies have one common. Yeah, thing. yeah, you don't. Yeah. I feel like this is going to push so we'll the anti zombie agenda. Zombies as oh, come on. How many brains have you seen me eat? It's just that kombucha stuff. <laughs> That's the line. That's the line. Nothing specific so far. Well, let me kombucha. Know if you get to disrupt anything. Or... Which begs the question. Oh, no, here we go. Can the mind truly comprehend itself? Oh man, so it's gonna be like this. Sorry yes, it is. Melissa Schultz, a series of misunderstandings in a past life. Charges dropped, and, and uh, now you're in nootropics, smart drugs, if you will. Cutting edge pharmacology smart drugs? for brain drugs smart? Increased I mean, coffee to be fair is smart. <laughs> the bioengineered mind, the next step in human evolution. You know, I'm surprised you guys don't do it. I bet you the criminals do. So like ginkgo biloba, taurine. Firing me because I'm gay? Oh God, no. Oh, come on. My daughter's gay. But um, this in front of the brain dispensary and... Uh, You're firing him because he's a zombie. Floor. Parents saw this and complained. And frankly, I can't blame... There's still that discrimination there. Someone who's... You can stay. I don't believe we've met. I'm Blaine. Welcome to my place. Allie. Nice to meet you, Blaine. Al Bronson, Luster Magazine. Hey! There's your Al. Uh, you are not There's uh, your Ally. expecting in an owl. Short for Alice. Alice. Don't let the looks of just the simplest answer. Hire Mr. Moss to tutor them here. Yes! yes. I mean, that might and be yes, a good idea. I am on a bit of a brain. <laughs> Can't tell. 
you know how it, it gives goes. these um, rich disapproving father like children father. having to hide yada, yada. That's a, a bit of an education Act? and gives mr moss you hope your homework What? I mean, that is too much. Fucking. The back of the heads. Now I hear that you. Now humans. Homo sapiens. They've had a pretty good run. But zombies are here now. They've had the Roman raids run. It's clear. <laughs> but that's gotta end at some point. It's us. Whether us or them. Who do you want it to be? Us. Uh, pass. <laughs> Fucking okay! 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 Didn't even, like, there wasn't even a freaking second that he could escape from. With cybernetically empowered super bodies. Got it. The future will be obnoxious. Now, can we please turn to Mrs. Elkhorn? Attached to your meat space. Mud made horrors beyond my comprehension. Not everyone can think beyond the... The mind? Oh. Nora got eliminated for Peyton. Testimony, relationships, motive. A smart algorithm analyzes. And voila. Congratulations. You just invented the police. I told you Mind boggling. Except not. I'm just kind of worried about where this might go for for this guy. Oh. How about you stick that camera up your ass, man? Take a selfie. <laughs> it is funny on? considering huh? how it is essentially paparazzi. Oh, Come on. goodness. Number six, Capoeira brain. Brazilian art of dance fighting. That's why he wanted the number six. Okay. He wanted to be prepared. Wanted to be equipped with the presets. Sorry for the disturbance, folks. First drinks on the house. I I I can't help but I, uh, admire I his I might bullshit. Get the Lane brand. And I might want to see the rest. This pad of yours with the non This is this is mentioned. really painting give it a good light. Shall we say tomorrow? Damn blade. We had all the same jokes, but it was the humans making them. Like funny, wrong assumptions. Exactly. Still funny. What about human ignorance? There you go. You know there you, you go. Yeah, yeah, so bad. yeah. Why don't you just write it? Well, oh, well maybe. Maybe she can do. <laughs> that was uh, rhetorical. No, it she wasn't. Hasn't? It wasn't, You're buddy. A good now. Let's just start with your idea. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay. No, that's it. I'm not talking to her. Oh, well, come on. She is. I know Renegade. I only talk to the living. Okay, well, we're investigating right. the death of yeah, Danielle Yeah, yeah. That doesn't diminish the effectiveness of her job, but... <laughs> okay. I had a vision, too. All of you monsters were wiped off the face of the earth, and I was dancing you want, on your ashes. You, you want any more bullshit? Stop, so. Wow. What a dick. That was... That guy really doesn't like zombies. No, no. That was a lot. There was a contact lens found at the scene. Dried up, blue tinted. I also yep. have something. What did all Cornell Piercy's apps rely on for their function? Shit. Uh, user data. Shopping and driving apps both collected user data that could, with the right algorithm, link behaviors to identities. It's all so I, I, I love the kind of connectivity as well. Extra king out of oh shit. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was the mask that was used, wasn't it? To kill Bra- Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, he's gonna have no choice but to comply, isn't he? Shit. I didn't do anything! Oh, it's a bunch of zombie-loving garbage. <laughs> Fuck, I'm- 
You know what? One more bullshit word. Serving a warrant is that satisfying. Murder weapon growing right in his backyard. Work for us now. Shit. Get the picture. And that twat. It is. You do this, and zombies are doomed. She killed. You okay, Liv? Fine. Elon Fine. Musk, basically. Go, uh, Curtis, teach them something. What? Just because zombies were at risk. Hey, so sorry. Mm, oh. I, I was being followed, so I did a whole thing. Jail. Now, Liv, come on, we're not precogs. That's not how this works. Mm. If Sheldon Drake is free to plot the mass murder of all of us, can we say that this works at all? Oh, yeah, because he is going to be very, very detrimental to zombie kind, really. It's funny, it's got, you know... It's got heart. Yeah, it's a good script. Nice! Now, if we just had a cat... Feeling everybody hugs stuff, but I see what you're trying to do, and Yasmin did a good job. And yes! I'll be damned if I'm going to let Tall Baby come in here and screw it all up, so... <laughs> yes. You know all of me. You just don't know me. Then I guess I'll just have to get to know you even better. Hmm. I'll drink to that. Surely Blaine knows something, though, like that. Yeah, surely Blaine knows. Cornell was that a genius. She like many spotted that he was behind the Barakas murder. He wasn't murder. good at processing the co I wanted to save zombie kind. Oh, that you continues understand? that tension, doesn't it, with the zombies don't and humans? Don't you and the mushrooms in Drake's yard. I put them there when I learned he was a suspect, hoping Framed. I would get him put away. I wouldn't have lost any sleep at that <clears throat> rotting in prison. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can see why she has. Oh, I can see why she she would like go to that length, especially with his vile comments in regards to uh, in regards to the zombies. Um, because every sent like every sentence that man ushered was followed by an anti-zombie discriminative comment. So it was like, um, yeah, you could understand why she she um found out the juice about the fact that um about the fact that he was um framed and all of that. So. Yeah, and decided to take that to to um, her advantage. Um, yeah, Melissa did that in order to make sure, that, like, that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, with 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 um, Drake, yeah, he. With with yeah with Sheldon Drake he um you you could really see the um uncomfortable nature of his character and there are like in the real world like especially with different um um uh, like whether it's relig religions or or ethnicities etc you'll have someone who is um ignorantly passionate I guess uh that is the combo because uh they do spout a lot of ignorance and they're very very passionate about it but uh you have these bigoted people who will you know like sheldon did um you know say something and then follow up by um a, a discriminative comment to someone that they're not um fond with so um and it must have been uncomfortable, like, especially with how much he was spouting to Liv. Um, I mean, obviously Liv's been in this game for a very, very long time, but also she knows that um, things between the zombies and the humans are, 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 are getting more and more tense, as was the case in the situation of the case of the week, especially with Melissa having, uh, like, with, with Cornell and this whole anti-zombie shit, um... It just further proves that as a testament, really, this whole um, split. Like, Melissa was a zombie, Cornell wasn't. And, uh, yeah, this purging of zombie kind was, um, 
w was not happening. It was sick. It was just disheartening, especially if it if it's going to affect someone that you used to love as well. Um, so boy, but there were some very interesting things that came about in this episode as well. Like, especially that guy, the van, um, who's very, very... Like, because he had, like... Because at, at first, I thought it was going to be a... I don't know. Someone speaking through a ventriloquist doll or something. Just, you saw the back of his head and all of that. And, uh, yeah. But he made a very, very good impression. And Blaine's... Blaine might be in a bit of shit, but I think he's... Got his bases covered. I think he anticipated that Al was going to find something that would lead her to the um uh to to the whole situation with with Bracus. So I do worry that with um the the data situation that it could produce um, as Liv feared uh, future murders. So um with the whole. Uh, data mining uh, situation uh, being um, being able to track down zombies and all of that it's 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 not going to get resolved just like that so I do suspect that things are definitely gonna I mean things are already ramping up in my opinion in regards to um, what we're going to see unfold this season obviously we've got Dolly um, and her pro um, human um, situation we've got um We've got this new boss guy who has a very, very heavy pro-zombie uh, agenda. Uh, we've got the whole cure situation. I, I feel like um, we are really starting to push forwards on certain roads in regards to uh, the, uh, the direction of the season. So, yeah, but um, there is that to also consider. The whole data mining situation, outing zombies and putting them at risk. Um uh, and and it's gonna get really really messy with Dolly and this new um boss person, especially with the fact that he's got um Phil. Well, not everyone, I guess, from Fillmore Graves, but I guess the majority because there's uh, including uh, Frenchie, uh, which I guess is no surprise. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I mean, I I'm guessing it's the majority of of those in Fillmore Graves because um it really it will push things forward in regards to the tension um in Major's role and um how uh, and the rest of Fillmore Graves really so um especially with him hanging out with Liv and all of that and he you you, you saw the discomfort um in his position and not just that though but it pays well in regards to those who are starting to doubt Major's position and if he's uh, fit to rule really so and now you've got this new um, guy who is talking about um, basically <clears throat> having the the next step of human evolution come about um, in very very drastic means. I mean, you saw that one member of Fillmore Graves. Like I said, it's not the it's not everyone because that guy was even hesitant, and then you saw what happened to him. But he, I, I, I guess he's going to change those who uh, I guess maybe a bit skeptical. Um, he's going to change their minds around. Um, so, yeah, um, I mean, you even had that teacher as well, um, who I guess didn't really want to do this in regards to keeping a watchful eye on Liv and all of that. But he really had no choice, especially with what they did to his partner, which really is uh, absolutely sickening with, um, yeah, just how, just, just how messed up they are. So, um, but... There, like I said, there's also that, like, uh, the the back of of uh, this guy's head. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing, you know, something zombie, zombie infected zo um, something. So, yeah, but it's still very, very eerie to see. Because uh, at first I was thinking, is this going to be some kind of a, is this going to be like some kind of sore situation, I guess? Um, but, um, yeah, it's, um, it, it is... It is just really, really messed up. And I feel like um, introducing this bad, this new bad, is going to be very, very interesting, especially in the debacle between zombies and humans, because we already have Dolly, who is very extreme in her mo motives. Um, and we have um, 
this new guy who is recruiting those who are not really comfortable in majors ruling uh, at Fillmore Graves. And um, um, he's he's basically going to push this army forward, really. So, um, you know, this could really... I mean, it, it does seem worrying for the future, doesn't it? In regards to uh, what Dolly's doing, what this guy's doing, and... Um, considering it, 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 considering they're on opposing sides, it's going to get messy, um, especially with how strong their uh, beliefs are um, for both sides. So, yeah, um, I'm not really liking the direction this is going to go. So, yeah, but... Um, yeah, it was it was really really great stuff. Uh, this episode, um, I found it uh, like I said in regards to Melissa coming out with uh, the whole situation in regards to you know doing what she did. Um, yeah, I mean there is again it is just very very interesting in regards to um this whole division in regards to the humans and zombies. Melissa did what she did because of the fact that. Um, as Liv said, this whole data mining situation and with how passionate that guy is in regards to um, his anti-zombie agenda, it is uh, like, yeah, Sheldon is a very, very um, dangerous character. I do feel like he's going to come back in some capacity, especially in regards to helping Dolly out, um, because obviously um, we know how Dolly is very dangerous. And um, not just that, though, but we've got Sheldon, who's very dangerous. He's doxing zombies. And um, yeah, there are it's it's a very, very um, scary prospect in regards to, um, you know, what he's or like the damage that is done and and how Dolly can uh, potentially um, add fuel to the fire because he's already he's already. Um, causing a bit of concern for Liv and it does add a very very interesting situation where uh, she um, is advocating that something should be done before things get worse because he's got a very very dangerous mindset about him he's got a very extreme mindset and uh, um, before you know it St uh, New Seattle's going to be a, uh, an entire shit show I mean she doesn't even know about this new um, boss guy so yeah, it's, it's it, like, this This is very, very, like, you can see where I'm getting at in regards to New Seattle's going to be essentially a war zone with these two extreme factors pitting heads, basically. So, yeah, but um, with Melissa's situation, um, yeah, I mean, there was that whole um, idea about the fact that... Um, she decided to mitigate any kind... Well, she tried to mitigate any kind of damage that was already done. Um, and obviously, murder, yeah. Um, not the way to go about it, of course, but um, there is that kind of sympathetic side of her character because of the fact that she doesn't want um, her like kind um, to... I mean, there's already a bout of discrimination we are, we are already seeing, and she doesn't want her kind to be doxxed, to have fellow zombies, to, like, even those who might not, who, who might be struggling anyways to live, uh, she doesn't want them to struggle any further because of, um, like, the fact that, um, yeah, Cornell and Sheldon, they're essentially working together to make sure that these zombies are going to get out, etc., and, yeah, so... Um, th th they'll be headhunted and all of that. So, I mean, it works for someone who do who does have a bit of confidence like Blaine, which we'll get onto in a minute, but not everyone's going to be like Blaine. So, yeah. Um, and there are going to be people who are going to be um, absolutely done in emotionally. They, it's going to uh, invoke depression and all of that. And it's... Um, I I, well, I don't know if Melissa herself so sees this, but... Um, there are some aspects where you can imagine that it's going to add insult to injury in terms of the warfare between humans and zombies. I mean, um, you have some very, very extreme people out there uh, in terms of the human um, situation. And there are some people who won't be as extreme but discriminative. You get the idea, though. 
Um, yeah, I mean, that teacher, he was fired for being a zombie. Um, and that's still, going, that's still going to contribute to um, either fellow zombies retaliating because of this discrimination or it's just going to invoke depression or any kind of detrimental factors in regards to emotion because um, that like they just keep getting the brunt of it so um, and yeah like I said I don't think Melissa had that in my, but, but it was more so about the fact that um, I mean the main meat of the bone was the fact that there was the doxing and foul, there was there was a lot of zombies at risk and that number is just going to continue to grow and grow and grow. So um, this was all about, um, you know, survival because obviously doxing is uh, an absolute, um, uh, it, it, it is just absolutely criminal. And there was that preservation really. So... Um, yeah, but it does really, um, I, I feel like especially towards the end, you could really see how Liv was being tested about this whole situation and how there was a bit of sympathy there. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, we also um, saw the return of Blaine um, because we didn't see him in the last episode. Um, and, um, yeah, we had that, of course, um, article situation going on. Um, so... Um, I obviously thought it was going to lead um, to something more, and it seems like it's going to do so. Although I do feel like Blaine is ten steps ahead. Um, he, like, I'm sure he knows that you know if you're going to write an article or whatever, you're going to want to uncover everything uh, as much as possible. Um, so there is that prospect, and plus, I don't think Blaine would be that. I don't know. If, I don't know if Blaine would. I, well, he's not going to be careless. But um, I don't know if that mask that obviously he wore when he killed Baracus um, would always be there, like even if he didn't have an interviewer peeking around or whatever. So, um, yeah, but I do feel like Blaine has something up his sleeve. I mean, this is Blaine for crying out loud. Um, like, especially the way he dealt with those dead enders as well was just great. Like, um, you had Donnie freaking out and then he was just so nonchalant about it. Like, he was ordering, of course, presets, I guess, basically, in regards to, okay, um, what moves am I going to wow them with, basically, um, the dead enders. And by wow, I mean uh, kick their ass. So, yeah. But I do love how um, there is a kind of... Um, uh, a, a, a kind of metaphor in regards to uh, the paparazzi with how they're obviously taking pictures. Obviously, there is a lot more of a damaging aspect, especially with uh, the whole fight to get out, you know, who's a zombie, etc. Where are they and all of that. But, um, I mean, with paparazzi, they're nothing but detrimental anyways. Um, so, um, they, they do more harm than good. <clears throat> and you have um, a lot of people just... Um, Try, like a lot of people who work in the profession just try to be vultures about the situation so and you have these dead enders who obviously not the nicest of people um obviously going a bit more extreme than you know your paparazzi folk and all of that um but still there is a detrimental layer for both uh for, for both paparazzi and dead enders and uh, uh they they um yeah sometimes need a good ass kicking basically <laughs> so yeah but it was um it, it it was very very interesting seeing al and uh and uh blaine kick things off um like i said i feel like there is something like with her recovering about okay well blaine actually killed baracus um there is going to be something that Blaine has up his sleeve or um, something bad's going to happen to Al. But it's going to be very interesting to see how that unfolds. But yeah, um, pretty solid episode of iZombie. Really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the next one. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!